Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So, um, you know, I get emails from guys who have trouble in this game. Like, you know, they're they're tired of, you know, trying to get girls because they're like, shit ain't working out. You know, they're they're uh, halfway deciding to <laughs> to go MGTOW and shit, you know. Um, but the thing is this, man. The reason why the game is hard for most guys why most guys have a hard time getting chicks why they're frustrated with making shit happen right is because they are not actually taking the game seriously to the point where they're studying it and they're actually putting it into action right so they're not really studying the game and they're not putting it into action right or what they'll do is is they'll study a little bit here and there sort of like on some part-time shit and you know take action once in a while And so what happens is the game becomes harder for you because you're not putting in any effort. You're not putting in any work. So therefore, what happens is because you're not putting in any work, you're not getting anything in return. See, what I noticed is this, right? I remember I went from, you know, being scared to approach women, you know, and when I actually got the courage to approach them, I was getting rejected like a whole lot and all this other stuff. I went from that to... Going to a bar, a club, or whatever, and the first girl I talk to, I end up sleeping with her that night, right? So I went from being afraid to approach a chick to being able to fuck the first chick I approach. Now, the reason why that happened was because I actually studied the game, I took it seriously, and I put the things that I learned into action. I actually did shit. So what happens is that the more you do it, the more the game is going to give back to you. You understand? The more you do it, the more the game is going to give back to you. The more success you're going to see. The reason why most of you guys aren't seeing success is because you're not putting in enough effort in this game. It's the same thing as this, you know. Let's, let's you know, use the example of working out. You know, if you learn all the things you got to eat and all this other stuff and you're actually learning all the right, you know, workouts to do and you do this shit continuously, right? What's going to happen is, is that you're going to see changes in your body. Your body's going to start to get more fit. So what happens is, is that since you put in that work, right, you end up benefiting by having that body. You understand? So you end up having the body because you're putting the work, The same thing goes for when you're trying to get women. You end up having the women because you put in the work. But see, you can't get these women if you're not putting in the work. So the the, the game is not going to give anything back to you because you're not putting anything into the game. You have to give to get. And see, what happens is the more that you, the more energy, the more, um, you know, time you put into the game, the easier it gets. You understand? So, you know, there's been numerous times, like I said, I'll go into a spot. The first girl I talk to, I end up fucking that night. So what I ended up having to do was I I would be very careful (laughs) about the chick that I talked to because I knew the one that I talked to is most likely going to be the one I'm going to be fucking that night. But in order for me to get to that point where it got that easy, I had to put in a lot of fucking work because what happens is when I put in all that work. When I interact with women, when I talk to them, when I'm, you know, doing my thing, all that game, all that knowledge, all that, uh, you know, practice that I had talking to women, all that stuff comes through when I'm talking to that one girl. You see what I'm saying? So she's she's getting to experience a man whose game is on point. But my game is on point because I've been putting in the work. So like I was saying back in the day when my game wasn't on point. I had to put in a lot of work to get to the point where I could just roll up on one chick and, you know, take her home that night. You feel what I'm saying? But the thing is, is that I had to get it to that point. But the only way I had the the only way I got it to that point was because I put in the work and I, you know, was taking action and, and doing the things I need to do. So the thing is this, you know, for you guys out there, if you want to make shit happen, if you want to make the game easier for you, right? What's going to happen is, is that you're going to have to start to put in the work now. Because 
the more time you waste, the more you sort of like play around with this shit, the harder it is to, 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 to get what you want. You understand? And, and in some cases, you're probably not going to get what you want. You're just going to be you're just going to have to take what you can get. And that's the worst thing to <laughs> to have to, uh, you know, that's the worst position to be in when it comes to you dealing with these women, you know, taking what you can get because you don't have the skill and the know how to get what you want. You understand? But understand this shit, it takes time. I'm not saying this shit gonna happen overnight, but you have to understand that you have to be consistent with this. You have to put in that, you know, that, that um, effort, that energy in there. You got to really put in that work to get to the point where it becomes, uh, you know, easy. It's just like, okay, for example, it's just like if, you know, you are building a business or whatever and you want to, you want to be rich, right? So you want to make money. So what happens is, is that when you're broke and you ain't really got shit popping off, you know, it's hard for you to get a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? It's hard for you to make a lot of money. But let's say you started a business. You've been grinding, working on that business for, you know, for a long time. You've been putting in a lot of work, you know, spending a lot of time, putting a lot of energy into that business, you know, growing it and all this other stuff. And then all of a sudden what happens is. Because you've been putting all that time and energy into that business, you start making a lot of money. And guess what? Making a lot of money becomes easy because you've gotten to the point where you're at now because you put in that work. You understand? So before when you was broken, you ain't really had shit. You understand what I'm saying? It was hard for you to make money. But now that you have a, a running business that you know uh, sells products and services... You're making money hand over fist. So you can say, yo, it's easy for me to make money. But you only can say that because you have put in the work to in order for you to get to that point where it's easy for you to make money. You feel what I'm saying? So the same thing applies for when you're dealing with these women. Look, there's times where I remember I went to this um, I went to this meetup event and. I was, you know, I was just chilling at this spot or whatever. I, I just go to these things sometimes to meet some new people and just chill or whatever, right? So I go to this spot and there's, there's these two two guys there who recognize me. They was like, yo, Mr. Locario, oh shit, what up, what up? So, you know, we, we chopping it up and, and all that other stuff, right? So next thing you know, we talking or whatever, but then I saw these, these, um, these two girls sitting on the other side of the room. So I told them, I was like, yo, I'll be back. I'm going to holler at these chicks real quick. So now they're sitting there watching me. <laughs> talk to these girls so what happened was there was the two girls there one of the girls was getting up as i was walking towards them so she got up to i guess go to the bathroom so then the other one girl was just sitting there so i got next to this girl that was sitting there i started talking to her and you know she's smiling or whatever we talking and all this other shit but i found out that she you know she had a man or whatever so but so her friend comes back and as soon as her friend comes back her friend is you know we start talking we start flirting or whatever and literally within i would say like Maybe like 10 minutes of talking to her friend. Me and the, her friend is kissing and making out and shit. You know what I'm saying? And so the guys that were there that knew me, they was just like, yo, what the... You know, they, they was like after like after we was, you know, I was making out with the chick. You know, later on in the, in the, in the evening, I, w I went back to the bar. And so the guys that knew me, they was like, yo, yo, I just seen you over there with that chick. That shit crazy, bro. Blah, 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 blah. So the thing was, is that they're looking at it like... I have some magical power, but that's not really it. All it is, is that since I've been working on my game for years, it's easy for me to go up to women and create those situations. You understand? The reason why most of you guys can't create those situations, why you'll never get into those, you know, types of things and have that shit happen consistently is because you do not study the game and you do not put what you studied into action. You know, you don't really do it. You sort of like, you know, bullshit with it. You understand? You you watch these videos, but you never really, you know, um, go out there. You never buy any books on, on, on this information. You know, like, you know how many guys that send me questions and the answers is all in a bad boy membership, but they, they won't join the bad boy membership? You know what I'm saying? So, so I'm just like, yo, you know, but your, your results is going to reflect how much work you put in. You see what I'm saying? But that's, you know, that's what I want to tell you guys is that, you know, the reason why, you know, the game isn't easy for you. The reason why it's difficult. The reason why you're having so much trouble is because you are not really putting in that fucking work. It's really that simple. All right. 
So that's pretty much it. Listen, guys, if you have any questions, click the link below and I'll let you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Click the link below to get the ebook 60 second game. In this book, you'll learn how your confidence, verbal communication skills, appearance, response to rejection and honesty can affect your game. Click the link below to get your copy today. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up, it's dating and life coach, Mr. Mr. Locario, go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership Program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.